Hi, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from mid-January to mid-February. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Gemini, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the King of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Chariot in reverse. Okay. So, Gemini, your challenge has a lot to do with the King of Cups energy. Some of you are dealing with somebody who <clears throat> is you know, somewhat overly emotional, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or somebody who embodies that type of energy. We're going to clarify the King of Cups and see what your important message is here in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Queen of Cups, you have the Hanged Man and the High Priestess in reverse. I'm really strongly getting here in the recent past, there was something here about you being very much disconnected from your intuition, okay? I do feel like there was um, possibly a separation here in the past or um, a disconnect between you and a specific person that you love um, and I'm also getting here in the recent past there was a lack of taking action someone here didn't take action or they couldn't take action okay we're gonna find out more when we clarify in a moment now in the present moment you have the Queen of Swords the Hermit and the Moon there's something here about you being in your head in the present moment about some sort of situation that really you don't have control over. Um, now the moon is uh, our subconscious mind, okay? And one of the things that you know I see in the present moment is there's an important message for you regarding some sort of situation that you've been thinking about. I do feel like possibly even in the present moment you could have, um, <clears throat> there's some sort of situation that's hidden from you that you don't quite see. Okay, with the moon here and you're thinking about this situation and it's something here that you don't really understand. So we're going to clarify this and see what that might be um, and what the important messages are here for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the seven of pentacles, the eight of pentacles and the seven of swords. There's something here about someone wanting to leave or disconnect here. Okay, and the way they're doing it isn't really honest. Okay, I don't feel like they're really saying everything that they need to say. Um, there's some sort of deceptive energy here in the near future with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. It could be, you know, in relation to your work. It could be in relation to something that you're creating here. Um, we're going to find out more when we clarify, okay? So what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Chariot, the Lover's, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Five of Cups all in reverse. So for many of you right now, um, Mercury retrograde, your ruler is, uh, you know, Mercury is retrograde until I think mid-February or first two weeks of February. You can look it up online. Um, so what does that mean? It means there's some sort of situation in your life right now that's not moving forward. You have the chariot here in reverse, okay? Chariots in reverse. So it's indicating to me that some sort of situation, maybe um, situation in your love life isn't moving forward. There may be some sort of issues, maybe with a fire sign here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm getting water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, there's some sort of unresolved issue between you and this person. And that's why things haven't really been able to, you know, completely move forward between you and this person. Um, are things over? I don't think things are over, you know, because the death here is in reverse. So something here isn't growing. Okay. The timing is not right right now. Um, <clears throat> I do see this person disconnecting. 
temporarily. I see them disconnecting from you or you could be disconnecting from them. Okay. And it could be because of some sort of situation that was never really resolved between both you and them. Okay. So let's get into your uh, reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so your challenge, which is the King of Cups, is clarified by the Two of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Moon. Wow. So one of the things that I'm picking up right away from this energy is a lot of you watching this, I would say a good percentage of you um, watching this are in separation right now. So you're disconnected from somebody, um, even if you're in the same household as them, even if you are not in the same household as them, there is a, an emotional disconnect between you and this person. This person I feel like has been thinking about you nonstop. You've been thinking about them nonstop. Um, there's a decision that's going to have to be made about whether or not you and this person are going to be ready to come out of separation. I do sense this person wants to offer you love, but the problem here is you both, you, both you and this person have either turned your back on one another and you've stopped talking to one another, or there's just been an emotional void. And it makes complete sense why that's happening with Venus retrograding and Mercury retrograding. These two planets are very, very much connected to love and connected to communication. So um, your biggest challenge here is, even though you don't know where you stand with this person, your biggest challenge here is to... <clears throat> be able to be in this place of still knowing that this person loves you and still being in a place of knowing that you still love them. Okay. So there's a desire here for you and this person to come out of separation. Okay. And I'm seeing that the separation is very much needed at this time. And as we go through your story in the reading, we're going to find out why that may be. Okay. So let's get into your reading. Let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the queen of cups in the recent past. So the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Tower. You have the Page of Wands and the High Priestess. I'm really strongly getting here in the recent past, the Queen of Cups is you, okay? You could have maybe, um, you know, a rising water sign or you could be a cusp, maybe you're a Gemini, but you're on the cusp of Cancer. Uh, there's something here about you going through some sort of major painful event in the past. Now, if this wasn't you, it could have been your person, but I'm getting that this was you. You went through some sort of tower moment. It led to a lot of emotional pain for you. And, you know, at that point, that, po you know, that pain, Gemini, that you felt in the past that that really emotionally affected you was a trigger for you. It was a trigger from your subconscious mind. And, and a lot of you ignored it, right? for a while you ignored this for a while um but it came to a point where you couldn't ignore it anymore okay some of you have dogs or you like little dogs there's something here about dogs okay um so there could have been something that happened with a dog there could have been something that happened in a relationship there could have been something that happened um you know within your family whatever the case is something happened here that was out of your control tower and it really pushed you into a new direction. It pushed you into this place of needing to move into a new direction. And without this actually happening, you probably wouldn't have moved into a new direction, okay? So there was a need for something here that you didn't want to happen that needed to happen to push you into action. Okay, in the recent past. So that's what I'm seeing here. Now, in the present moment, there's something here that may be hidden from you with the moon. It has been very emotional. Um, you've been thinking about it nonstop. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords and see what the important message is here for you in the present moment. Okay, so the Queen of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. 
I feel like in the present moment, a lot of you um, are trying to make sense of whether or not you should stay. Should should I stay? Should I go? Um, it's getting too difficult for me. This is getting this is starting to become too hard. There's something in your life where you've been carrying a lot. You've been carrying a lot of the responsibility, a lot of the um, the load on your back. And I think the reason why a lot of you have continued to do this is because there's a lot at stake here. What do I mean by that? It means that a lot of you have invested a lot of time and energy. You've built something, you know, to a point where. The idea of you walking away from this situation or completely disconnecting is probably going to create a major ending. And I think that's why a lot of you are afraid to disconnect from the situation, even though it's become super unbearable for you. Okay, so this is something that a lot of you have to decide. That's not something I can decide for you, but I feel like that's something that has been um, a very, very important point in your life right now. And that's what you've been thinking about because you don't even know what's going to happen, Moon. You know, you don't really know what's going to happen. So tell me more about the hermit in the present moment. So the hermit is clarified by the magician, the three of cups in the world. Some of you believe in the present moment that the idea of you reconciling with this person that you really love is nearly impossible. Okay. Um, for the situation to get back to the, you know, where, where it used to be or where it once was, it's like, this is what you want. You know, even your person may even be manifesting this in the present moment. And the reason why I say it may be your person is because this isn't your energy. Hermit, magician, three of cups and the world. This is about something here um, that somebody keeps replaying over and over in their mind. Is it going to end? Are we going to reconcile? Are we going to be together? So there's a big question mark here with the moon. There's something here that you don't completely know how it's going to be and what's going to happen moving forward. Tell me more about what's being hidden from Gemini in the present moment. The moon is clarified by the fool, the king of swords, and the eight of swords. This is where it gets really interesting, right? Because although you want some sort of new beginning to happen, and it looks like it is going to happen in the present moment, there's something here that you need to accept, okay? And this is this is a direct message to you because the king of swords is your energy. Um, I'm really strongly getting that you're, you're wanting to release yourself from something. There's something here in the present moment that's been very, very much hard for you to deal with. It's been very burdensome. You don't want to be involved in it anymore. Um, you want to walk away. You want to disconnect. Um, but you don't know if you disconnect what's going to happen. Okay. And this is why a lot of you need to just allow the situation to pan out the way it needs to pan out. Okay. Because if you feel stuck and you feel like you can't move, there's always a way out. Okay. There's always a way out. Even though it may seem like there isn't a way out, there is a way out. And this is what spirit is trying to tell you right now. Okay, so in the present moment, there's something here about you wanting to put something to an end. It's been very difficult. Um, it's like I'm, I'm getting this energy of I just want to go home or I just want to be with, with the person I love. And right now, what you need to be focused on in the present moment is this new beginning. Okay, taking a risk. The fool is about taking a risk. Okay, so for many of you right now, that may not be possible, especially with Mercury um, retrograding, but it doesn't mean that you can't start planning. There's something here about you needing to get very clear, okay? Queen of Swords and King of Swords, sword energy is the mind. And whatever you think you can conceive in your mind, right? So what is happening in the present moment is even though it may seem like there isn't a way out or it may seem like you're stuck somewhere and you can't seem to release yourself, spirit is saying, yes, but you have your mind. And whatever you're thinking in your mind is what you're going to be creating um, outward into your reality magician, okay? So there's something here about you learning that Although you're under pressure and it's quick to just run away, that's not always the solution. The solution starts in our minds, okay? And by the way, Mercury is retrograde and Mercury is what? Mental. That's why it starts with an M because it's mental and it's the closest planet to the sun. So there's something here about regrouping in the present moment, especially if you're in this place of, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm worried. I, I don't know what's going to happen. 
start with your mind okay and this is this is what you're being called to do in the present moment now in the near future there is going to be a, a point in time gemini where i strongly feel you're going to leave you're going to disconnect and the reason why you may decide to disconnect from the situation is because in the present moment it's become too much for you tell me more about the seven of swords in the near future for gemini So the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So I do see you making a decision, okay? And, and because this is the near future, you know, obviously this decision most likely has not been made. But when you decide to make this decision, it's going to have a lot to do with whether or not you want to completely... Um, abandon the situation altogether take what you need from it and leave or stay and fight or stay and defend yourself okay seven of wands seven of wands is about defending oneself so a lot of you may come to this conclusion that you know what's the point of me arguing what's the point of me fighting what's the point of me um doing that right that's the decision that you're gonna have to make a lot of you this could have a lot to do with your job Okay, this could have a lot to do with you finally deciding to disconnect from a job that, you know, you've made a lot of money and you're at this point where you're like, you know what, I just want to disconnect or this could be a relationship that you've invested a lot of time and energy in. I'm also seeing that there will be an opportunity to possibly work things out here in the near future as well for many of you. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, and you have the Nine of Wands. So I'm really strongly getting here that <clears throat> there's going to be an opportunity to work things out, maybe with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I have Taurus really strong here, maybe Sagittarius. Um, either way, in the near future, you will have to decide if this is something that you want to still hold on to, you still want to work work on it. Because remember, the the, the energy that you're in in the present moment, it, it's not going to stay like that. So if you feel overworked burdened um a lack of love all of that's going to change okay but when it does change in the near future that's when you're going to have to decide whether or not you still want to move forward in this situation or if you want to completely abandon it altogether um and there's different ways to go about doing that but that's something I see you needing to do, deciding here uh, in the near future. Because, you know, the chariot in reverse, it's not going to be in reverse forever. It's going to be in reverse until the timing is right, okay? So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? The advice here is the two of cups of the world and the ace of wands allow remember how i was saying in your reading allow something to to um allow it to go through its course instead of trying to force the situation there's something here about your relationship okay so if your relationship is coming to an end and a separation is needed allow the separation to happen because when one thing ends a new beginning happens when one thing closes out a new energy happens okay and that's where you're at right now spirit is saying allow some sort of relationship it doesn't have to be a romantic one it could be your job it could be you know it could be a number of things but whatever it is allow this situation to play out the way it needs to if it needs to come to an end allow it to come to an end and allow a new beginning to happen okay but there's something here about you allowing the seasons to go through its course okay so fall we have fall things fall then we have winter things die then we have spring things are planted then we have summer things are harvested so you know there's a there's a a, a level of understanding understanding and overstanding that a lot of you are being called to do right now allow something to run its course and that's the way life is once you accept that okay you accept that worry stress and fear no longer because you're you're you know that something has to run its course okay so your advice here is in order to have a new beginning allow something to die what needs to die within your relationships there's something here that you're being taught there's a lesson here and you have to be open to that okay in order to have your new beginning so gemini this is what i have for you a bit of a complex reading i hope you got something out of it thanks so much for tuning in i'll see you on the next one bye